And we begin with that breaking news. Well, we will be taking you to the Spirit Lake City Hall, where the Cooney County Sheriff's Office is holding a press conference on the death of S.A. Floyd in an incident that happened eight days ago. That's right. We told you about this last week. It was breaking news on Nightside. Floyd was a 67-year-old woman who was found dead inside of her apartment building following what was considered to be a mental health call by the Sheriff's Office and by Spirit Lake Police. Then they reported that that led to an officer involved shooting. So we are again waiting for this press conference with the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office. We're going to listen in now. We have someone at the podium waiting for this press conference to begin. Let's take a listen. We were in a different room. Did uh, somebody come up and tell you some housekeeping stuff? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, we, we might be a little early. So. We're still outside real quick. Okay. Again, we are waiting for someone to take the podium there and begin this press conference. This happened last Wednesday night in Spirit Lake, where S.A. Floyd ended up being killed in what was called an officer-involved shooting. We've got no information uh, since then. Now let's go to the podium again. Office, I'm just going to go over some housekeeping rules before we get started. Um, first off, if everyone would please silent your cell phones. Uh, do that now so we don't have any interruptions. We have a very full house, um, so just keep the side conversations um, down to a minimum. There's restrooms in the back if you need to use those, um, and emergency exits where you came in. Um, attending tonight, this evening's press conference, um, we have Sheriff Robert Norris, Cooney County Prosecuting Attorney um, Stan Mortensen, uh, and Spirit Lake City Mayor Jeremy Copper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Copper, yep. Uh, we'll provide printouts of the timeline of events um, that will be available after the sheriff speaks. Um, sheriff Norris and Prosecutor Mortensen will take a few brief questions at the end. Sheriff. Good evening. Um, sheriff Robert Norris, I am your, uh, your sheriff here in Kootenai County. The purpose of this press conference is to provide as much information to you as possible and to clarify a lot of information that is circulating in the public, phone calls that we received, and other platforms that have raised these questions. When we leave here tonight, I would like for you to have some takeaways. And a couple of these takeaways are that there were no Kootenai County Deputy Sheriffs at the scene of this incident at the time of the incident. I'd like for you to, uh, to note that at the conclusion of this meeting, I'd like for you to have a better understanding of the processes that are going to occur because of a critical incident here in Kootenai County. I'd like for you to have an under understanding of what a North Idaho Critical Incident Task Force is and what role that each of us are going to play in this particular incident. So on November the 1st, 2023, at 1814 hours, a reporting party called and asked for a call for service at the residence of S.A. Floyd. At 1827 hours, two Spirit Lake police officers arrived on scene. At 18.34 hours, an officer-involved shooting occurred. At 18.40, I'm sorry, at 18.34 hours, an officer-involved shooting occurred. At 18.47, a Kootenai County Deputy Sheriff arrived on scene, which would have been about 20 minutes after the incident. S.A. Floyd is a 67-year-old female. Ms. Floyd lived alone inside her residence the location is a multi-apartment complex retirement facility. The complex is for retired independent living. There are care providers available to check in with different residents depending on their need of care. What the North Idaho Critical Incident Task Force is, is a multi-agency task force that is activated whenever a critical incident occurs such as an officer-involved shooting. There are many detectives that have different areas of expertise, and most 
agencies here in Kootenai County are part of the North Idaho Critical Incident Task Force. The Sheriff's Office, the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office, your Kootenai County Sheriff's Office was not involved in the original incident. We are the agency who's investigating this particular incident. And investigating from a investigation of the officer involved shooting. And a piece of that is, is ours. And then what we're going to do with that investigation, we are going to handle that investigation over to the prosecutor. And Stan Mortensen's gonna talk about that. But I'd like to tell you a little bit about the, the investigation. The investigation is objective in nature. It is a memorialization of facts, of measurements, of witness statements, of involved party statements, of audio and, uh, and video. So it's really just a, a memorialization of the event. There's no subjective analysis in the original invest, criminal investigation. And I think it's very important for, for us to have an understanding of, of what that means. The reason why a, an involved agency does not investigate their own is because we want to give a degree of credibility to the public to ensure that it's a independent memorialization of that event. At this time, I'm going to turn over the mic to your prosecutor, Stan Mortensen, and he's going to describe what happens when he gets the investigation. And then we're going to have Mayor Copperwaith, and he's going to describe what happens when a administrative review or use of force in this particular incident, what is going to occur from that standpoint. Stan? You've been listening to the Kootenai County Sheriff Robert Norris give a, a brief explainer on how the Idaho Critical Task Force Unit works when we have an officer involved shooting. We're going to continue to get more information from this press conference, but we have more news to get to tonight.